Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with Dave's Faves. And today I want to talk to you about the very greatest album of classical music comedy ever made. It is this, the Anna Russell album. Now, for those of you who don't know who Anna Russell was, and I really um, aim this at younger, younger viewers, because you may not know, she was a Canadian soprano who had a voice that was never going to destine her for an operatic career, as she claimed she was prima donna with the Ellis Island Opera Company. She was educated in Britain. She did folk song collecting with Vaughan Williams and those people, at least supposedly. She lived in Australia toward the latter half of her life, and she decided to become a comedian, and a very good one she was. There are three discs. There's actually more than that st stuff out there, but there are three discs of her material on Sony Classical. But this, the Anna Russell album, has her classic routines. In particular, it contains her analysis of Wagner's Ring der Nibelungen, which is probably the most fabulous 25 minutes of classical music comedy you will ever hear in your life. It's absolutely unbelievable hysterically funny. You know, Siegfried, Siegfried marries Brunhilde, and then Anna Russell notes, she's his aunt, by the way. And, and not Brunhilde, yeah, Brunhilde, that's right. Brunhilde is Siegfried's aunt because she is the daughter of Wotan, and, and, and Siegfried is the grandson of Wotan. So there you go, right? I mean, she just, she just tells it straight. And in telling it straight, it's unbelievable. The scene opens in the River Rhine. In it. Get it? It's absolutely marvelous. I mean, it doesn't sound good when I do it, but when she does it, she's hilarious. You also get here um, her introduction to the concert by the president of the local women's club. You get how to write your own Gilbert and Sullivan opera. This is absolutely mar marvelous incredibly funny. She does all the characters herself. She does the story. She does the arias. She does the patter song. She, I mean, you know, the patter song is to found a Bunyan dynasty of very great pomposity. Pneumonia shall wed me, though she finds me a, minds me a monstrosity and has the feelings for me of the wildest animosity. Our nuptials will be solemnized this afternoon. But all these machinations give a feeling of futility. Increasing animosity has ruined my virility. I really, uh, it's really very dull to be a rich tycoon. I mean, she goes on and on like that. It's, it's, it's great. Okay, I keep saying it's great. Then she has her, her, her different voice types. Her coloratura aria, canto dolcemente pipo, named after my cat, by the way, and the British style, pure but dull, of course. The Russian folk song, don yet, don yet and the singers with no brains from the Prince of Philadelphia, Ah Lover, the waltz song, and for singers with tremendous artistry but no voice, oh yes, this is the German art song and the French, the French melodie. This is on the German lead and the, uh, the French thing, you know, unbelievable. The German art song is called Schlumpf, and it is very German. Schlumpf ist meiner gepitzigen Schnitz. It's incredibly dark. And the French lead, the French melody, is Je n'ai pas la plume de ma tante, which is absolutely amazing. It's Je n'ai pas la plume de ma tante, mais j'ai la parapluie de jardinière. Ouvrez la porte, donnez-moi du sucre, fermez la fenêtre, s'il vous plaît. I mean, it goes on. It's an absolutely incredible thing. And then you have the Screechin' Ralph for the dramatic soprano, followed by her analysis of Wagner's Ring. And all I can say is, if you don't know this, you are absolutely bereft of enlightenment. I actually, there's a video of her doing her farewell concerts. And um, one of them was filmed at the Baltimore Museum um, when I was in college. And I was there for all of her presentations at the Baltimore Museum and then at the auditorium at Goucher College. And it's really, it's really very, very special.
So uh, talking about comedy is is like talking about music. You you have to listen to it. You can't really explain it. If you have to explain it, it's not going to be funny. It, 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 just get the Anna Russell album and relax and enjoy because it is hysterical. Absolutely marvelous. She was a genius. Keep on listening, friends. Thanks for joining me. Take care.